Welcome back to Art at Home with Miss Lindstrom. Today we are going to work on part two of our family portraits. Today we're going to look at some different artists and how they create portraits and then you are going to choose your own style for your portrait and create it using any type of material that you have at home. Today we're going to talk about collage, paint, and coloring. You can choose whatever you would like and whatever you have access to at home in your art supplies. So let's get started. Our target last video was I can draw a face using proportion. Today's target is I can draw a portrait of a family member. Now what is a portrait? A portrait is a picture of a person. Before we get started, let's take a look at some famous artists and their style for creating portraits. Julia Bottoms is a local artist from Buffalo, New York. She paints large-scale portraits to highlight black identity. Her focus is to bring out people's personality by adding specific objects or interesting backgrounds. Andy Warhol is an artist from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He became famous for creating silkscreen portraits of famous people in his style called pop art. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico. She created paintings and portraits that were very dreamlike or in a fantasy style. Kende Wiley is a Nigerian-American painter that currently lives in New York City. He paints everyday people in the fake poses of famous paintings. Kende, along with Amy Sherald, were the first black artists to paint official presidential portraits. Now that we have some ideas, let's add color and style to our portraits. Now, I want to show you four different ways that you can add color to your portrait. Mine is broken up into four different sections. Do not draw a black line across your portrait. This is just so that you can see mine in four different ways. Now, I'm drawing my roommate. My roommate is fun and silly and likes to be outside or in the water. So I'm going to think about that as I create my portrait. I'm going to use bright colors and I might even do some dots in the background to kind of look like water. So for my first section I'm going to use markers to color it in. Remember with each material you use you should always be showing good craftsmanship it should not be messy coloring. Take your time to fill it in carefully and slowly. When you do the face, you don't have to use real colors if you don't want to. But if you want your person to look realistic, make sure you look at their arm or their face to get the right colors for their skin tone.
Great job. Now that you are done with your portrait, I want you to pause and reflect for a moment. Does the style you created show the character of the person you chose? Is it fun like you were hoping? Is it serious? Do the colors match your family member's personality? Take a minute and make sure it does. Then remember our target for today. I can draw a portrait of a family member. Now I'm super excited to see the portraits you have created. So now that you're done, make sure that you take a photo of it and upload it to Artsonia so I can see your learning. Also feel free to leave any questions or comments on the YouTube channel or on Google Classroom so I can help you out. Have fun creating!